I have a monumental announcement to make. I decided to start my own global world-class tech company. <sighs> no, I didn't. And if I had done that, if I, had, if I actually had had that thought, it would have been stupid, it would have been insane for the reasons I'm going to detail now. Now, it doesn't matter what you do in business, it doesn't matter what you start off with, it doesn't matter what you want to do. If you don't start off from a position of strength, if you're not doing what you're actually really good at, then you're starting off from disadvantage, you are intentionally handicapping yourself, which is insane. Why? Because business is difficult. Even if in the beginning of your business, you start off with everything perfect, you have the funding, you have the people, people around you, you have the product, you have access to the market. Along the way, you're going to face so much friction, so many challenges, so many potential problems, some of which you won't even be able to think about, that they will force you to work harder, innovate, and if you succeed, get stronger. Provided, of course, that you're actually working from your strengths, which makes it a little bit easier. And this is, doesn't mean it's easy, but it means easier. So the friction that you face, the energetic load, the difficulties you face are manageable. And that's the difference. So if you are starting a business, or even if you're working in one, you have to ask yourself, are you playing to your strengths? Are you doing what you're really good at? Or are you allowing the world outside, the markets, the circumstances, everything you face is a difficulty, to direct you down paths where you are basically disadvantaged because you're not playing to your strengths, which means that the business which you start is suffering and struggling, or the business you're in is suffering and struggling. And this is why I'm not starting my own world-class global tech company. I know my limitations, I know that the connections I have, despite all the knowledge that I have, despite all the exposure I have to different businesses which I consult with, and um, I see all the variables and the strategies in action, despite all that, if I started my own global uh, world-class tech company, I can guarantee you that even if I had had all the funding necessary in place, all the manpower, within a year, maybe two, I would fail, simply because the climb is too hard. I would lose confidence in myself, but more importantly, people would lose confidence in me as a leader, perhaps, and certainly potential customers would lose confidence in the company, in what it does and how it does it. So, the lesson here, and it's an important one, is you always start off with what you're best at. And to the question of, well, what if you're not good at anything? Well, in that case, if you really want to go into business, you should be lucky enough to have sufficient money or contacts to actually hiring the people with the skills that you need in order for the business to succeed, which is basically one of the key core um, rules of business. And people forget that. But if you're not, and most businesses start as a very small group, play to your strengths, understand what you're good at, Start from there and build gradually and slowly and persistently. And if you do that, then your chances of success increase, sometimes exponentially. And if you don't do that, then it's a struggle all the way. And at some point, inevitably, there is failure. I really hope this helps. I really hope this makes you think carefully about what you're doing and why you're doing it. Keep uh, the suggestions coming in, which is how this video came about. Thank you very much for watching. Take care out there.